morning, you're watching the Indian Express. I'm Charula Tabriswas. Let's begin your day with a big story on Morning Express. To prevent the slide in the rupee and shore up foreign exchange reserves, the Reserve Bank of India announced a series of measures including relaxation in foreign investment in debt, external commercial borrowings and non-resident Indian deposits. Here are the stories you'll find only in Indian Express. In light of the recent judgments by the Supreme Court of the United States, Peter Ronald D'Souza writes, this question of declining legitimacy of a Supreme Court is a concern of all Democrats, even in India. Authoritarian regimes hide behind rule by law. That is why they seek to control the appointment of judges. By controlling the judiciary, regimes are able to shift the dispute from the domain of politics to the chambers of the courts. Let's have a look at the front page. The Directorate General of Civil Aviation has issued a show cause notice to SpiceJet stating that upon re reviewal of the recent air safety incidents witnessed by the airline, it was found that poor internal safety oversight and inadequate maintenance actions has resulted in the degradation of safety margins. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said that he called up the Dalai Lama to wish him on his birthday. This comes amid the slide in India-China ties over the military standoff along the line of actual control. Meanwhile, with general insurance companies now allowed to introduce tech-enabled concepts of pay as you drive and pay how you drive, for own damage cover, vehicle owners can now buy cheaper insurance policies based on their driving behavior, general upkeep of vehicle, mileage and usage pattern. Here are the must-reads. The Union Cabinet gave the 13th extension to Justice Rohini Commission tasked with subcategorization of the other backward classes, giving it time until January 31st, 2023 to submit its report. With the move coming even without the Commission seeking an extension, it betrays the ruling BJP's fears that the report could politically boomerang and affect its efforts to keep its OBC support base intact, sources said. The Uddhav Thakre-led Shiv Sena could be next looking at unrest from its parliamentary wing. A day after one Sena MP requested Uddhav to declare support for the NDA's presidential candidate, Draupadi Murmu, a rebel MLA on Wednesday claimed that 12 out of the party's 18 MPs would soon join the Eknath Shinde-led faction, a claim not denied by party sources. With Twitter initiating legal action against the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, we take a look at why has Twitter filed the lawsuit. Amid increasing instances of fires in electric vehicles being reported from parts of the country, the government has stepped in with a plan to formulate procedures on battery certification and quality control. Ever since taking the Athletics Federation of India to court over his exclusion from the 2022 Commonwealth Games squad, despite achieving the qualification mark, India's leading high jumper, Tejaswin Shankar had been anxiously awaiting the verdict. The Delhi athlete's nerves finally eased when the AFI told the Delhi High Court on Wednesday that he would be included in the 36-member squad in place of quarter Miller Arokya Rajiv. And finally, in today's episode of the Three Things Podcast, we talk about Twitter taking the Indian government to court, the Bombay High Court functioning at half strength and the need to reassess government meal programs. That's all for today. For more news and updates, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, The Internet Express. Thank you so much for watching.